Yo, what's up my people, Fourth Prince here, and today with me I have... The Green Hornet 543. And before we get into it, you've got two gameplays in the background, both in my gamer tag, but they're both done by the Green Hornet. They're FFA gameplays, and they are both wins. You've got 50 kills, 10 deaths, that's two wins on FFA, and both of them are on overgrowth. One's when they had the sword and the shotgun on the map, and the other one's when they didn't. So the other one's more recent. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these gameplays, and yo, thank you very much, little man, for the gameplays. And we're going to chat today about the fire fight beta that starts on the 14th of April, running through till the 18th of April, and then on it the 18th of April, fire, fire beta is coming. Sorry. As long as you've played Gears of War UE before the 11th of April. Yeah, so you, if you ain't played Gears of War UE right now, you need to go get your Gears of War Ultimate Edition disc, stick it into your Xbox One, get some games in there to make sure you don't miss out on a whole week of the Gears of War 4 beta which is going to be dropping on the 18th to the 1st I think of March and, but on the 25th it's going to be open to all so if you people ain't had a chance or don't play have Gears of War copies then you're at least going to have the chance to play it for a week but don't miss out on a week so get your Gears of War with edition stick it in the disc tray and play that now but yo Firefight what do you think about Firefight coming? Firefight seems cool, but my only query with it is it's Warzone Firefight. Yep. So I think there needs to be a lot more distinction between the Firefight we know and Warzone Firefight. Because Firefight for me was a very alone thing. I know that makes you sound like a loner, but you I could used to, it, uh, yeah, you, you could do it alone. That's yeah, what I used to do. Yeah. Like, mess around with the stats your, and stuff. Uh, what's the name? Custom games, yeah. yeah. But now everything is online, even the custom games are online, and it's Warzone, all Warzone are online, you can't do custom Warzone games, so I have a feeling that you will only be able to do it with your friends online, and if you don't have eight friends, which I'm pretty sure is the maximum people in a game, then you'll have to do it with people you don't know. Yeah, which, which is, I see where you're coming from, it's quite interesting actually that you can't play any of the Warzone maps in customizable games, so you can't just play Warzone, which is something I haven't thought about actually, but... Yeah, no, it's a good point, but I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be, like, crazy. What were you saying earlier about it's the most uh, enemies? There's the most AI on screen in all Halo, it's apparently. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited, but I do see where you're coming from. So you can't just say, I just want to play some Firefight on my Todd, like yeah. you're on Reach and ODST. And, and uh, you probably won't be able to host it. Because that would be unfair for everyone else because you have a better connection. If it is Warzone, then it will probably be dedicated. In which case, then you can't mess around with the stats over, give yourself a limited ammo. Yeah, which was also a thing. I played Firefight on Reach with people that put scrolls on and stuff. And it was yeah, just that's, I, like, I like that. Yeah, I mean, Birthday party and stuff. Yeah, I hate all that stuff. Get it out. But yeah, no, I know what you're saying. So, basically, what you're saying is... Unlike Gears of War 3 Horde, if you was playing with friends on that on the Horde and it was a customizable or in, in a game and someone left or had to turn off their Xbox, then everyone's game had yeah. to be done. But yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, no, it's going to be exciting. It's only on for is it three days? 40? Five. Five. Including days. the 14th. Yeah, and then straight after that, you've got Gears of War 4. Better. So I was yeah. so excited. And what do you think of the new map, which was. Uh, two new maps in the Ghost maps. of Meridian update, which as time recording has come out. It's, I don't know why I said it as time recording has come out, it's never going to yeah. go down, yeah. is it? But the first one I'll kick off with is Skirmish at Dark Star, the Warzone map. I think it's very good, but whoever has the fortress has a definite advantage because it's very easy to be attacked, your armour is. They're very, not weak, but they're very vulnerable. And the fortress is a very strong power position of the map. And if the enemy does have all three of your bases they can shut down the doors to stop there's a little area in front of your home base and after that there's doors to get your like tanks and stuff out they can close them and you can't get your tanks out so you, oh, really? yeah it can like make it very congested and easy for the attackers because they've got the height advantage if they've all got snipers or something they can just pick you off. Alright, so there you go, tip for that is push fortress. But then I felt that on which is the snow map with it? March on Stormbreak. Yeah, but obviously you're saying that this is even more so. Yeah, because it's fortress. unpredictable. Okay. Whereas March on Stormbreak, they're only coming from the left or in front. Yeah. That's the only two ways they can come, not much so with 
the right okay. because it's very thin on the right, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, I played it once. Played it once today. Actually, I'm trying to get on the map. I've got everyone but that. But I played it today. It was pretty cool. I did. Was just looking around. Really, I needed to kind of get my bearings on the map a little bit more. But I did see the mantis guy, who's AI, who spawned in. That was pretty cool. So yeah, it looks really interesting. I'm really looking forward to playing it more. And obviously, there's the other map, which is the arena map, which is called Tyrant. It is. And. Uh, I've only played one game of that, and we're just walking around it, going, we were getting shot loads, but you played it a lot more yeah. today, so what do you think? Um, I think Sniper's very key. Push Sniper, I would... That's top tip for Tyrion. <laughs> top tip for Greedhorn. Yeah, <laughs> push Sniper. At least three of you really should be going Sniper, because there's so many long sight lines on that map. The Sniper's just so effective and useful. Whereas the scat shot... Only a bit of it is up close and personal. Maybe the ricochet feature on the scat shot could come into it a bit, that extra distance. But it's more of a longer ranged map. Most of the encounters come in at long range unless you're all coming around the corner. How do you think it looks at the map? It definitely looks different uh, to. I know all the maps. Are any of them, yeah, but any of it's very, very, very different. different. It's almost are. like you're in space, but not the same kind of space yeah. as you are within the breakout maps. It's very, it's got a Colosseum-esque kind of feel to it. Okay, There's cool. bits of it where you can go, oh, there's kind of Colosseum. It's not a Colosseum remix, yeah. but I don't know, it just reminds me of Colosseum. That's yeah, like a Riptide reminded me, even though it's not. It is. Same, it reminded, Riptide reminded me of Fathom. A bit. Yeah, Riptide is a remix of Fathom. Oh, cool. Just like Regret is a remix of Truth, so if you didn't yeah, already yeah. know, that's yeah, why yeah. those maps share so many similarities. But weirdly, I like Regret and I hate Truth, but that's just me. I like them both. Truth, my favourite map yeah, in the game. Yeah, yeah, I always get that map just because I don't like it. But anyway, what else was going to say about it? So, yeah, so you, Ghost of Meridian um, uh, um, update we had. You yeah. really enjoy it at the moment. I am I'm as like well. It. Uh, so, yeah, just, it's actually been a really good update on there and really cool. And uh, what was going to chat about this? Bad points. Um, we're all. Um, theater, I've had some problems with theatre, that's what I was going to chat about. Yeah. Was, um, only little things, just with it glitching here and there, you know, when you're watching theatre. But then I can't call it a bad point, really, just because that most I wish every game had a theatre, uh, which is was a, as effective as Halo 5. But definitely, uh, we had a few glitchy bits with it, but that's, it's like, I hope, I love Gears of War 4 to have a theatre like um, Halo 5, because it has been so much easier, instead of having to record every single game I play. I kind of have got dependent on the theatre and theatre. As soon as something good happens, then I can go back to the game and record it from there. So actually, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, and if the servers do go down, as we briefly mentioned earlier, yeah, you can't go in your theatre. Yeah, they seem to be down yeah. at the moment. Yeah, and as the time of recording, they're down. So yeah. sort out with 343. You haven't had the best track record with multiplayer as it is. Don't make it any worse. Yeah, no, the, 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 we do wish that the servers, because you, once you go under the servers, you can't... Yeah, you, you can only play. do the solo campaign. That's it. There's no, you can't do no forge to go, ah, oh, work on my map. I kind of, it's a bit strange that everything's online, but it is one of them things, uh, kind of, there hasn't been lots and lots of problems with it, and, uh, But one of the problems I had with Halo 5 was its launch. Yeah. It I felt think. very bare bones. Yeah, and it really felt like it was relying on the updates too much, like, I would have liked, and for it to be like, I don't know, something more. Like there was what, what game modes were there? Team Arena, SWAT, Warzone, Warzone Assault, Free For All, and yeah, I think that's that, it. I there was only that seems to be five to seven game modes yeah, at launch. Yeah, it seems launch. to be, uh, yeah, because there wasn't even a big team either. Was no, there, so. that was the first update. Yeah, no, so and the maps, the, remember there was no overgrowth, there was no riptide, there was no... Um, yeah, no, I agree. Noctis. It was the same with Halo 4 as well. I remember when Halo 4 came out and... Uh, that was lackluster at launch, and I kind of I don't, and I feel like you do want to bring your game in hard at the start because obviously, it's, as much yeah. as it's really good that we're getting constant content for the game, I really but do love that. But you do want to have a hard body game because people buy it, they play it for the first twenty minutes. If there's not much on there, they're the ones that take it back. I've already seen it pretty cheap to buy, and so yeah. they take you back in DVD shops. So. That, yeah, I agree with you, the launch is pretty last. But right now, I've got to say that it's still, I know people may not want to hear, may want to hear me moan about the game, but I still, this game is sick. Halo 5 is just like, 
was so good and so enjoyable. And just the fact there is loads of different things coming forward, coming all the time, is pretty amazing. One thing is, I know a lot of people would die to have Griff Ball, but I don't know what you think about it, but I kind of... It's meh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. meh. I can see why it wasn't there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is there an infection thing coming? Yeah, there is an infection coming in the Memories of Reach update, which is going to be a Reach-themed update. I think they're going to be bringing back... Um, a reach shotgun, I think. Okay. Um, but that's all I know of, of that. And another thing, I know a lot of fans of Halo love Griff Ball, love Infection, but for me, I like, I ain't gonna, you know, I just ain't, ain't for me, but it's cool that other people play. Yeah, I also don't understand, I think 343, at launch, they were going into it competitive, 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 but now the community have kind of gone, no, we don't really want this competitive push, we want a competitive I social it's getting a mix. Healthy balance, because, you know, I kind of, I kind of like what's going on at the moment, and I, I think that they have really a, appeased what people have wanted. People moaning about Griff Ball not being there, bang, there you go. People have been moaning, I've known people have been moaning about infection, bang, there you go. So I'm quite happy that they have kind of. They're only always bent over backwards to make sure everyone's happy. I'll tell you one thing that firefight is coming. Yo, there's going to be yeah. a lot of smiley faces over the earth, so we will have to see how that goes in the future. So, also, as well, I think there's a Gears of War news stuff. Crumbs. Gears of War, the coalition are giving crumbs everywhere at the yeah. moment. So, Monday, there's going to be more crumbs. I know there was a crumbs of, I think everyone says it's Mark and Phoenix's son running, so there was some crumbs there. JD Just is crumbs. Marcus but, Phoenix's son. Yeah. That's been confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish they didn't confirm it. No, I mean, Why? Like, I just I don't want to. I don't want to wait to the game. I don't want to wait to the game. And I kind of think I have my concerns and worries about that game. But I am going to be looking forward to it. And my only concerns and worries is about the community because I know what happens when I like a Gears of War game and no one else does. It's just me playing it. But that is what it is, and that's another story. More Gears to come in the future. So yo, Halo Firefight's coming soon. We're looking forward to Halo Firefight. I'm sceptic about it, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I'm because it will be on Warzone maps as well. Remember, it's Warzone Firefight, not just Firefight. Yeah, you yeah, won't be able yeah, to do yeah. it on any other maps or anything from the campaign, which you could do because that's how it was done previously. It was a cut-off section of a campaign mission, wasn't it? On yeah. Reach. And yeah, yeah. It was, um, certain. It was only certain, ma but yeah, there were certain. Ma wasn't yeah. Any, which none of them were and I think they much. added a remake. Of a halo, a bit of a Halo One map, I think, yep. or that just might have been on anniversary. Yeah, so we get another update this month. I think so. I think we're getting two updates two this updates. month because we, we missed. Last yeah. Year. So last month. Halo Firefight isn't out till June, something like. Yeah, it? June, July, roundabouts there. Yeah, so we've got quite a bit away to that. But yeah, just wanted to touch ground. Thank you very much. The game plays in the background. Just the kills, ten deaths, not too shabby. Yeah. Pretty good on there. Overgrowth, so on the growth, under growth, over, over. So, yo, thank you very much for saying goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. And, uh, yo, much love and peace.